bottom paint, two parts, interlux perfection, going on the bottom of the 1958 Speedliner Class C racing hydroplane. Now, is that red or what? Look at that puppy shine. She's going to be so smooth, we're going to have to hang on to her. She's just going to slide through the water. into finishing the bottom of the uh, Class C hydroplane race boat Speedliner 1958. Uh, Brian is taking the beautifully glossy paint back flat so we'll have some teeth for the, the next and final coat and then we will on top of this be putting at least one, possibly two coats of Interlux Perfection plus two-part varnish, which will both uh, impart much more UV protection, maintain the shine and color of this brilliant red paint. This is 320 and I'm sanding it with right now before the final coat to get rid of any little tiny imperfections or dust that may have settled into the finish. Helps flatten it out. And when we're done, we'll have a close to mirror finish that's dead smooth with zero imperfections in it. Is the goal. <laughs> so the flat block, basically, we're going to come in and it's going to remove all the high surfaces and then when it clouds out it gets that solid dull tone you know that you're completely flat and we can move on try not to go through because you are trying to build maybe that's three mil thick it's, I think that's right it it, doesn't Dannenberg say to sand it until it looks like it's snowed upon right with varnish this is same idea with paint. Right. And the uh, interlux would like to see a three mil thickness finish for the bottom surface below the water line with perfection paint. So we are trying to build up quite a layer of thickness if you compare it to plastic. But same time, you want to make sure that it remains flat so you get a good shine. If you get a lot of ripples and a lot of waves, when you look across it, it'll look like a pond on a breezy day as opposed to a flat mirror. And we're using perfection below the waterline here uh, because uh, this is a race boat that will spend its time out of the water when it's not racing or roaring around the pond or lake on a trailer rather than just sitting in the water all summer. Uh, the uh, perfection, will, once we're finished, will give us the minimum possible coefficient of friction be, so that the boat glides across the water without creating a lot of uh, speed dampening turbulence. As you can see right here, it is fairly thin. This is back down to the primer a little bit. That's not a big deal because I am going to coat it once more with a heavy coat. So if you do go through, it's not a big deal, but I'll just make sure to stay away from that area now and move onward in each direction as I need to. So stand by the next edition will be uh, videotaped uh, probably in the day.